Hey everyone, today for another vlog and today it's about uh, just doing the thing. <laughs> so I don't really know how to name it other than that because uh, it's kind of a kind of a simple thing to understand but it's really important and deep and something I've uh, sort of bypassed uh, pretty much my entire life honestly. It's like um, the, the, the setup is quite simple, you know, at the end of the day no amount of planning or preparation can bypass the fact that you have to do the thing. <coughs> Which is often quite uncomfortable, right? Otherwise, like, you wouldn't prepare or plan for it. You know, for example, you know, <laughs> a lot of, like, guys try to, like, memorize, pick up lines for, like, dating and stuff. Like, it, it never works that way, right? I mean, it can have its value. Although I think in this specific example, I would say no. But, um, you know, preparation has its values. But, like, often, often it's, it's often, like, an avoidance or, like, trying to sort of deny or, like, run away from fear. But in reality, like, the, the, there really is no, like, bypassing the fear. It's just, I mean, that's what courage is about. It's about, like, facing the fear because you know, trying to avoid it would just make things worse. So, yeah, you know, like, at the end of the day, you just can't bypass doing the thing. Like, there are going to be things that are scary in life, and that's just how it is. And I noticed that, like, I've always, like, sort of tried, tried to, like, take the, the roundabout way. Uh, it's a very, like, uh, air thing, or, like, <laughs> think of, like, the four elements. It's very much the, the airbender approach as opposed to like earthbending which, which would just be like facing your problems head on. Uh, just being very stubborn about them, but like until you solve them. Uh, both of them have their values of course, you know, like the more crafty and uh, you know, it ha there, there are many situations where it's useful, but sometimes you just need a very, a very straight up, you know, very straight up just forward facing approach, which is, you know, just doing the thing. And uh, another example besides the dating example is that, you know, at the end of the day, creative work just requires you to do the thing. And I think it's good to like, get into the mindset of just like, just doing the thing, even if it's like not good, doesn't meet your expectations, whatever. Uh, just doing the thing, it's very valuable. Um, like there's, there's a related thing where like, I think I've talked about it in some blog, but I don't remember which one, but it was about knots. It was probably like in the white period, I think, uh, or yellow. Uh, or maybe red, actually, I don't remember. Uh, but the the thing about knots, what I was talking about, is like a knot is a specific type of tiredness or like blockage in your life where it doesn't get resolved by taking a nap or just waiting. It gets resolved by untangling the knot. So it's like that's why I <laughs> to use that term. And it's, it's a really huge thing to understand because, you know, a lot of times people, what they do when they're tired is that they'll be like, you know, I'll just take a nap and we'll, it will get better. And uh, I would only do the thing when I don't feel as tired. But the thing is that oftentimes knots come from like unresolved projects that are not moving forward. And so like if you uh, take a nap instead of doing the thing, it can actually make the thing worse. Um, or like it doesn't progress it at least. I don't know if it makes the things worse, but uh, at least you have the sense that you're not progressing. And so often what what is needed is really just doing the thing. And the way you do the things by, you know, taking like a very specific action uh, you know, like instead of saying oh, I will work on this project, you know, instead of saying I will work on my thesis, you say instead something like I will open the the document, uh, I will uh, read this specific you know file or like uh, paper that I need to, and I will read the first three pages and I will take notes. Like this is how you get started, right? Like you could, you could be even more specific. You could you could get get like a list of things you need to do which are very specific and you can cross them as you go. Um, but the thing is, that you, you know, these, these are these are ways to like get started doing the thing, and it's and the mindset of it is in general is just yeah, just doing the thing, right? Like not <laughs> like not trying to like bypass it or like trying to like uh, weasel the way, but just just committing to doing the thing. And it's um, it's one of those things that is like really simple to talk about, but like it ha it's unbelievable how many years of my life of like sort of like uh, run into the wall in that thing and I'm still you know not struggling with that like there's there's a there's just something in inherent about human beings or maybe it's just my type of human being I don't know maybe that people who don't struggle with that but it's like you know there's just this part of you that like thinks that just by waiting things will get better but like really the the the, the ease no the faster you get into the discomfort like the the less overall discomfort you have like it's kind of like um yeah it's kind of like um I would say, uh, like the 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 virtuous approach is usually about minimizing an integral, 
<laughs> it's gonna make more sense when, when I flesh out the, the metaphor. Whereas the the sort of like most naive one is about like minimizing the the present day uh, discomfort. If that makes sense, right? So it's like by default, what we tend to do as human beings is that we, we tend to like minimize the, the current uh, discomfort. What right? which is like imagine like you have like the x-axis which is time, and the y-axis is discomfort. What we tend to do is like trying to minimize the the current, you know, like present discomfort. Uh, but often what it leads to is that it leads to a lot more discomfort in the future. Uh, and whereas like the more virtuous, like more the more like wise approach in life is usually to like, you know, obviously you don't always to expose yourself to discomfort for no reason, right? But like there are many times where it's just a lot better if you do it right away. And so like you, you could think of like the, the the integral over like the long term, you know, like the the area under the curve of the discomfort is a lot less if you go that way, or at least. Uh, I don't know if that metaphor makes a lot of sense to non-math people, but uh, broadly speaking, what wisdom seems to be about, you know, just having like a longer time preference, a longer time window. You, you know, you, you don't make decisions just based on like the present moment, which does matter, you know, there are many moments where it does matter to just think about the present moment, you know, like if there's a, there's a bear running at you, you're not going to think about long-term plans, you have to run away. Uh, actually, I don't know. I guess, I guess I don't know if you run away from a bear because bears are incredibly fucking vast. But you, you know, that that's kind of like the short-term survival example. But like sometimes the long-term doesn't make any sense. But it's rarely the case in, you know, in, like in modern life, it's rarely the case that like you're getting chased by something very short-term. Usually, the problems you deal with they are more like chronic and they're more like in the realm of like you know some type of blindness or like some type of thing you don't want to admit or do. And yeah, just learning to doing the things is very, very helpful, I find. Um, so like a few tips that are useful is like, yeah, once again, it's like the classic uh, uh, project management or self-help tips, but they're really useful to like internalize. And uh, the, the first one I gave was the uh, breaking it down to very specific steps. That's really, really important. Uh, the second one is, uh, you could say lowering the value of entry, but like instead of trying to have all the perfect circumstances, you just you just do the thing. If it's like you know, if if you're like seventy, if you're like sixty percent, seventy percent, okay to do it, you just do it. Uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, I guess there are many other small tricks. But like the third one, you could say it's like designing your environment such that it's easy to do the thing, such that it's easy to get started. Uh, you know. Like if it takes you like two minutes to pull out your sketchbook and get your stuff ready, like you, you could you could make it so that you never have to spend those two minutes by making the sketchbook you know always on the table or like always within reach. And the the friction makes a huge difference. Um like it's it's quite unbelievable how much like five minutes of friction, or like the friction is what you have to do before you get started, uh can make a huge difference like compared to like one minute. So like in absolute terms they don't really mean a lot right? because obviously five minutes compared to one minute it uh, doesn't really mean anything but in terms of like um i'm not really sure what's, what would be the way to phrase it. it's like perceived emotional costs like um uh, it feels like a it kind of feels like to your system it's it's a huge investment to to do the thing if you have like to spend like five minutes getting ready and you know do, do a whole thing whereas if you could just get started and you know just dive into the pool so to speak right like in other words, you kind of want to make jumping into the pool easy. Overall, that's kind of like what uh, just doing things uh, is about. Uh, you know, obviously, you could you could also say that you know it, it would be easier to jump into the pool if it was warm, for instance. But but like, if you can make it in any way, if you can make it easier in any way possible, it's always valuable. And um, yeah, it's it it compounds very very rapidly. Like uh, you know. I remember really struggling to like write anything uh, before I like, read Atomic Habits, and like once I read that book, I was significantly better at like getting uh, just stuff done in terms of like you know writing things down. Honestly, there, there's a one which you know I'll say <coughs> there's one which self help is really useful, and there's a, there's one which like it could never address a fundamental issue, which is the fact that I love like school work and you know, work within society is ultimately not what you really want to be doing in the first place, right? Like there's a bit of, I mean, there's a lot of self coercion that is involved. It's like th there's a way in which that is never addressed in those things, but like it, it, is, it is useful to be functional 
it's, it's better to be functional and then learn how to learn, live without the self coercion of society than it is to like never learn that I would say like it's usually it's usually the route that people take in life uh, in my experience at least that's how the people I know are sort of like you know steer themselves it's like you know it's like yeah first you don't really do the thing you want to and it's kind of a shame it would be much better <laughs> if we lived in a world where we didn't have to do that but that's usually what happens and then once people are in a better uh, situation they you know they start sort of switching fuel so to speak right? so like instead of having the fuel of self coercion they just uh, do things that interest them because they can afford to right? because they're in a situation they can afford to and such so yeah I don't think I have much to add but like I guess the takeaway is that um, there is really no bypassing courage uh, I guess I guess so far I've mostly talked about projects you know like getting started right like sort of the atomic habits uh, sort of view like how to get started on getting, doing something but like another point is just you know th there's just no way to bypass courage you know like if you're scared of something like there's there's no amount of preparation or thing that will get you through the the fear like there is only doing the thing and uh, obviously there are several ways to like approach fear but right? i'm not saying that they're all equivalent but at the end of the day it requires facing the fear like there's there's no really bypassing it that's why that's why courage is so valuable and so you know it's such like a highly you know highly praised virtue right? to be able to like face your fears that that's you know like if it was if it was easy if you could just bypass that it wouldn't be considered a virtue so for obvious reasons it is inherently like non-replaceable but you know it's, it's something that you i think the type of people i'm part of you know like very intellectual trying to solve problems with your mind like it kind of tends to be blind to that right the fact that courage is not <laughs> courage is not something you can like uh sort of replicate it's just something you embody or not so yeah that's about everything i have for today uh, thank you for listening i'll see you next time